doing anything. I was looking at the uh, the stimulation. So I gotta I can add I think one more tag. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, I already have, I already have ten. Never mind. But I thought I was gonna take something off, but maybe I didn't save when I said I was gonna do that. Um. I forgot. Oh well, for now I'm chilling. We talk a lot about food here, but no food tag. Curious. Uh, does food stimulate traffic? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's do food. It doesn't hurt to try. Um, anyway, hold on, dude. Let me get a lighting reference. I'm gonna use Charmy's golden, uh... Someone... <laughs> Charmy, someone asked me, um... Hey, Calvin, where'd you get that lighting reference? I was just like, my friend Charmy. And... <laughs> I was like, I'm not sharing this. I was like, gonna... I was like, alright, let me, uh, let me see it. And then I saw that it was literally called... It's like Charmy's lighting thing. And I was like, oh, hell no. Um, I'm not sharing this fucking, this ain't, this ain't mine to share. So I was like, I'm going to gatekeep it. So I gatekeeped it. It's mine. Well, it's yours too. It's obviously yours, but like, you know, mine. <laughs> so. Cause so I was like, oh yeah, let me see. And I, was, I saw Charmy. I was like, oh, oh, hell no. Maybe not, uh, maybe not mine to, you know, flex around town. B Kake, what up, B? Hiroshimasu! Hiroshimasu! Hope you're having a good, uh, whatever today is. Monday. Hope everyone's weekend was good. Dude, I had to pay my- I finished paying my taxes, by the way. Um, I'm so pissed. They- I'm like, I don't live in a, a certain state, and then I was like, I had to file the tax that said I don't live in this state anymore. Ugh! It made me so fucking mad. And it costs- it costs money. I had to file that particular tax that says I don't live in this state cost me money. I didn't have to pay any taxes. But I had to file that. Oh, I want to fuck them up, dude. Those motherfuckers. The goddamn government stealing my money. I can't believe it. I am. I made a stupid drawing today. Oh. There's not food. There is no traffic. Okay. I'll trust your word, Anna Fear. Um, damn, it's really hard to find a lighting situation that I want. Oh, maybe this could be nice. This seems nice. I'll yoink this one. Yoinkish, yoinketh. Okay, we got the we got the references, guys. Let's get our asses to work. Your guys, this is work. Hope everyone's doing good today. Um... What is this? What is this thing that, uh, Beast's talking about? I was wondering if I saw those eyes be. I had to file for two states for two for a few years. It was such a pain in the ass. And when the states con uh, contacted me, and five years later, all pissed that I didn't pay them enough. What the fuck, dude? I can't stand. Them. Our government has to be the worst government in the world. I don't know about the worst in the world, but we're pretty down there. Uh, cheesy hello. Hope you're having a big, uh, nice little whatever today is. Alright, let's get this pose going. I have a cute pose for Faye. 
is that ever something that um won't be as derpy but i kind of just gave up and went with went full derp <laughs> don't give up this is actually sick this for you're the dragon or you don't give a fuck if you don't give a fuck now i don't blame you but i like how this looking i like how this fucking looks uh yeah that's that's some derp derp dude that is some doip i like the lighting this looks this is gonna be awesome if you actually finish it but you know sometimes sometimes you get to that point in that piece and you're like hell no hell the fuck no and i do not blame you a bit for it well I kind of like the derp face now, so I'm torn. <laughs> Make two versions. A derp version and a, uh, and a non-derp version. What's my top secret for this? Taking my time. It's crazy that that's like a secret. That's a secret recipe for making good art is to not fucking rush it. Not like a, not good art, but specifically good fast art. It's crazy that the secrets are not making good, uh, like not making um like bad fast art is to not rush. But I guess at the end of the day, people that work on things and get it done fast is more um it's more about how well they. How many, how many natural skills, not natural skills, but how many like learned skills they have that they can turn, so they can turn that into uh, like effective fast artwork because they already have like knowledge to how to do that, right? I'm not sure if I'm even making sense with my words right now. My point is, um, the speed comes, the speed comes with. Uh, with the skill so when you have the skill um you know you, you should naturally become a little bit faster right but i think i was like i think in my head because i really wanted to because i really wanted to uh i really wanted to finish these pieces fast i overemphasize the speed element because I wanted it to be fast as opposed to maybe like properly articulating what corners I want to cut do you know what I mean but now that I kind of know what corners I want to cut and where I have been able to effectively change I would effectively be able to go at top speed and like do like some stuff that I'm really happy with you know so you know <laughs> so it comes naturally the more you do it yeah exactly then flip it for the final lines well that part that part's actually been that part's actually been really effective for keeping my energy that i like in my in my stuff so that's that's good good don't tell me my music's already over dude i barely even i barely just hit play on that playlist this ain't gonna do <laughs> this ain't gonna cut it what are you drawing today? I'm drawing Faye for the 30th thousandth time. Um, I'm starting off... I'm starting off uh, really simple on myself. I have a big list of characters I'm going to draw instead of asking you guys. So I'm just going to go through the list. This is a, this is a charmy technique. To save me uh, any kind of brain damage that will occur if I don't do this. Oh my god, dude. I played ranked yesterday in Street Fighter. That was the biggest mistake I made for the whole day. I took The reason why I took off yesterday is because I was doing taxes all day on Saturday. Um, on your guys' Saturday. So, I didn't really have a day off. I was just sitting there in the fucking computer just like doing stuff so i er, i decided to take an actual day off because i feel like i earned it and then i took an extra day there's no like there's no uh 
I guess, legitimate reason for it. I know, like, real life... In real life, you can't... You know, you have to do your taxes and you have to go to your regular 9 to 5. But good news is, I work for myself. So I can do what the fuck I want. But still... That, um... That messed me up. Excuses? No. Alright, dude. Sunday's, Sunday's chill anyway. I'll... Y'all definitely will find something else to do besides watch my stream, yeah? Not a big deal. Whatever, you guys are gonna get re you guys are rewarded now because I'm gonna be start I'm gonna stream for six hours for a, a hot minute. So enjoy your long form content from me. Uh, at least until probably until I potentially get partner. I'll be streaming for six hours. So congratulations, I'm gonna die. Congrats. I forgot what Faye's hair looks like. <laughs> I don't know how that how that's possible. I didn't forget. I'm just like trying to find the little areas. Yay, death? Yeah. Enjoy enjoy your long ass streams. Essentially I'm extending to uh just to hold numbers better. That's all. And also, I don't mind, which is why I made my list of things to draw. So I could, uh... So I can actually, um... Have, like, a flow, you know? So, like, I can leave... I'm essentially trying to alleviate all the stress that comes with, like, me having... Me streaming. And, uh, just streamlining it. <laughs> streamlining it! Blah, blah. I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't need to make that joke. Hi, Kaipal. I was sick, but I lived? A. Hey. Uh, well, welcome back to the land of the living. I hope you're doing, I'm glad you're doing much better. Dude, I went to, so my wife had to get her car, uh, I went, I went yesterday with my wife to get her car... What was it? It was... She had to get, like, a car inspection. And they had to, like, test if her car was, like, viable or whatever the fuck, right? Dude, the freaking... Oh, this dress is way shorter, shorter than I'm drawing it. So when we are done... When, when it was all done and finished... Um... They... We, like, leave in the car. And Japan does this all the time. Every time you're dealing with, like, some kind of, like, customer service that is, like, maybe a little more expensive than usual, they have their they have their staff, like, wait for you to leave. They wait for you to leave, and then they sit out there, and then they... They... They're... When you drive away, they bow, right? Um, but, man, does that shit make you want to hurry your ass up, dude? It is so annoying. It's so annoying. I'm like, dude, just go inside. We'll be, we're, we'll go and we go. Damn it. <laughs> like, I want to sit in the car and just chill for a minute. They're like, hurry up. They make us think hurry up. It's kind of like when someone holds the door for you. They hold the door for you and you have to like kind of run to the door. It feels like that. It's that same exact energy. So like, they don't, they aren't holding the door for you, but they're literally like holding you they're holding you they're like it's the worst <laughs> cross or cross the street yeah i never run it depends it depends on the situation but like if it's too far away but this is way different dude the fucking the waiting for they're waiting for you to leave so they can give you the proper like send off with their bowing so like it's even worse. Like, one thing about, like, with the door opening thing, you can probably look down and pretend that you don't see them helping you. Like, oh, you're holding the door for me? Well, good thing I'm looking at my phone. I don't realize it. Fuck you. You know? Um, there's, like, a lot of stress. But with this, with these guys staring at you in your car, waiting for you to go so they can be like, you know, how do you talk about your boss? And you, like, bow your head. It's, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it. 
All right, I'm gonna flip my canvas. I'm flipping my canvas twice. I feel like that might be an effective strat. Mm -hmm. So recline the seat and take a nap. <laughs> Slowly recline and escape fucking like Homer Simpson fading into the bushes. That seems like a good idea. Not even here, dude. Oh yeah, but... What was I saying? I was playing ranked. That shit's a fucking casino, dude. I got so... I got so many fights that made me so... I haven't been angry in Street Fighter in a long time, but I don't know what it was about yesterday. Um, at the end of the night, I got my rank all back, but like... The players I was fighting yesterday were so fucking moronic and shitty, and it was like offensive. I think that's what was happening. It wasn't like, oh man, I lost, that guy was pretty good. It was more like, I can't believe I'm fighting these morons. I can't believe they got the master rank this way. But then I, oh my, every day I can't wait for the damn Street Fighter nerfs. I can't wait. I can't wait till all these more. I, I don't know if the nerfs are gonna be good, but there are so many things that like protect these morons from playing poorly and it's it's, it's insane to me that they can just get away with how shitty they play I, I i can't i can't stand it i can't it's crazy like what are you doing like, you're letting them do this capcom these guys didn't even they don't even want to learn the game um but anyway uh i don't want to go on a fucking street fighter rant i just i was just pissed they can't keep getting away with it yeah they can't keep getting away with it it's that's what it feels like, dude. When you get like, ah, ah, it's hard to explain, but I'm sure anyone that's played any competitive game knows exactly what I'm talking about. But like, essentially a player does something that's so unfathomable and so confusing to like the actual meta, meta decision that to be made that it just affects your playstyle so much. You're like, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck are you doing? But in Street Fighter 6 specifically, being that moronic gets rewarded in like times a billion like maybe in street fighter 4 or street fighter uh like third strike if, a, if someone makes a mistake that leads into something big it's like oh man that happens sometimes in this game it's like it leads to 50 percent of your health when someone makes something goofy like that and then you don't you're not always like perfectly on your toes it's so tilting dude i swear to god the exact thing has been putting me off of uh, the game recently. It's maddening. Maddening, dude. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping, I'm really like excited for the, the patches because I think it's going to start weeding out players that don't functionally want to learn how to like, un they don't want to understand game mechanics. It's going to like, those people are gonna like be like, damn, dude, did I suck the whole time? The answer is yes. You sucked and you had no fundamentals at all. Um, and they're gonna be like, you know, 1300 MR. <laughs> so I'm I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that rude awakening and uh, it's gonna feel good. Calvin AK Street Fighter Karen, you can't be here. You're not supposed to DP there. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> That's me. I don't care. Just gotta fall back on the standard strat, get good. Yeah, the classical, the classical get good strat. It's not a good, it like it's not a get good situation, unfortunately. But I understand. I I know the meme. Fuck off. <laughs> it's not it's not as easy as get good um it's more about how the game feels it's not like i don't beat these people too um i did lose a lot yesterday i got my i i woke up at the like i didn't wake up but i at the end of the day i was like all right let's finally start winning and i started winning uh i went on like a like a big streak and then i got all my fucking rank back because i lost a lot of my mr and i got right back to where i was but still oh my god dude um the shit I was losing to, and then the amount of non-rematchers too. Like they would beat me in the most egregious Blanca ball cocksucker way, and they're like, oh, no rerun, fuck you. You're not gonna learn how to fight me. Because I'd suck. <laughs> God forbid you learn how to fight this bullshit, which is 
that was the part that also stung. And I'm in Japan. People all talk about like Japan. They're such respectable, godlike Daigo Umahara players. They're not. They're a bunch of same. They're the same motherfucking morons you experience in the states. I promise you. I promise you. And I know that like there's that chart that came out recently. There was like Japan has the most master rank players. All it is is population density. That is it. There's so many motherfuckers. These guys can that they get the fight. That of course they're going to be the most play, the most master rank players, dude. In order for someone from New York and America to fight someone from California, you have to on, you can only do that in a private room. You can't just the net code doesn't go that far. Uh, but in Japan, you can fight every region uh, because of how you know how densely popular like packed the area is. Maybe people disconnect against me today. Ugh. The net code is falling apart. No, the net code is fine. People are not. They're leaving. They're like, they're not, they're not, um, they're just, they're quitting. They're like, fuck, fuck, I'm losing. <laughs> Get me out of here. Or they'll do the win thing where they'll win and then leave or they'll lose and then leave. They're like, I'm not fighting Manon again. Like, yeah, fight. You're not fighting Manon, dude. You're using like DJ. Like, wh what am I doing to you? That's making you so upset. Besides you dry rushing in my face and I'm like reacting to it properly. Like, shut the hell up, dude. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sure you fried a rant. Might be a modern geef and leaving. I lost to a modern geef the other day and I felt so fucking stupid. This guy was hitting me with the weakest fucking, uh, <laughs> the, the weakest version of a damn, uh, what is that shit called? An SPD, and I still lost. I felt like so I had to take, I had to turn the game off. Embarrassing. He didn't even know what he was doing. That's the worst part. <laughs> he didn't even know, he didn't know why certain things worked. He didn't know why he was being aggressive at certain points. He didn't know, he didn't really know how to do tick throws. It was he was so unknowledgeable that he was unpredictable, which maybe could have been a strat, but you you know the difference. Anyway. Hope you guys are doing good. Kaino, I heard you in Charmy stream and you had no idea who Charmy was. I feel like that was insane to me. <laughs> what the heck? Kaino. <laughs> Charmy stopped snitching. That shit was so funny, dude. Kaino walks around actively with blindfolds. <laughs> what is that, Elmo? <laughs> dude, Elmo's staring pretty good probably be a modern um cami jerry marissa until i die um that's all fine um I'm, it's the reason why modern zangief is the reason why i'm like kind of making fun of modern zangief is not because of modern controls it's mainly because of like to be an optimal zangief player to use modern feels to me really stupid because you're essentially well actually let's say this to be an optimal Zangief player and not use a regular SPD is insane to me. Because Zangief has, you know, modern input SPD, which does significantly nerf damage. This Zangief player is using the nerfed version of all of his strongest moves. Um, well, honestly, anyone that uses modern and they use the, the auto combo button is nerfing their character. The, the way to maximize modern controls is to know how to do the actual inputs so you can maximize your damage but using you're using modern for reaction reaction sake um that's like the best way to utilize modern's that's how pro players utilize modern controls um they're utilizing it for instant reactable cheesy shit um which is why so many high level players don't like modern <laughs> i mean some like modern some don't mind modern, but other ones I, I've heard are really fucking vocal about like uh, how modern kind of takes away um, 
the reaction element. You don't have like if you're at a certain rank, you don't have to worry about the reaction element. You don't have to worry about anything what a pro player says ever. But um it's like a certain thing. Like the reason why pro players are utilizing modern is not for I want an easier easier control scheme. They can do the inputs. It's to maximize their reaction time to certain things. Um, you know, I love you so much that Elmo one. I'm not on Twitch uh, that much these days outside of your stream of Manas. Um, it's not the stream part, kind of. It's the Discord part. Because <laughs> I swore, I could have sworn you were in a call with me and Charmy at the same time at one mo moment or time. But I maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's I, I guess it's hard to tell. We're, I guess, like, there's so many, like, draw, draw ups with homies so many days. It's like, maybe, maybe that never did happen. It could be just me, um, imagining that that's what happened, you know? No, no, he was. <laughs> and the elbow comes out again. Twitch looking at Tekken 8 right now, having too much fun. Man, Tekken 8 looks like so much fun. I've been watching, uh, Majin play Tekken 8. Majin, for you guys that don't know, is a king player. Um, Lil Majin, Lil Majin. Uh, they're a king player, and watching King do king stuff is so fucking cool. It's something to do with, like, the, the grapplers that have, like, the crowd on their side. It's like, King is, like, objectively, like, in, Zangief is, like, a questionably, probably bad character in Street Fighter uh, 6. I think... King has always been a character that has a lot of tools to work with to win against his opponents. So, like, it's really cool to watch a quote-unquote grappler, because Tekken grapplers are a little bit different, like, shit on people, and they, they're they doing it at the whim of the crowd. Like, they point at the screen, they fucking... They, uh, they do all these sick-ass pro wrestling moves, and they let everyone know. Like, I'm doing this to you, and I'm doing this for my fans, you know? And then they freaking murder their ass. It really makes Zangief feel so underwhelming in contrast, to be honest. I don't think we're ever going to get a version of Zangief that has, like, a full arsenal anymore, because Capcom very seemingly hates uh, grapplers. Like, imagine if Capcom implemented a system with Zangief where he has, like, his loyal fans, and he can, like, build up the hype of his fans to do, like, more damage or do better combo extensions or something. Like, if they completely reworked them, that'd be so good. I like the system mechanics of Street Fighter 6 so much, I would love for them to just to rework characters that are just a little too weak and don't have a lot going for them. But I don't know if Capcom ever wants to put that work in. We'll see, though. Lil Majin or Big? Yeah, Lil Majin, my bad. Yeah, Lil Majin is the, the king player I like to watch. I think Big Majin's playing Lars. Gross. <laughs> fucking stupid ass anime character with a stupid bird haircut um Lars is cool I guess look man this one brain cell ain't doing the, its best don't worry we're all operating on one brain cell dude I understand so Zangief is Johnny Cage um uh, yeah I mean dude he's like a wrestler you know like that's how pro wrestlers live they're like my loyal fans you know like he says he screams my loyal fans to his audience when he does his level three it's so fucking sick and it's super hype every time it happens but it doesn't have like there's not things like that that happens enough where you're like i was watching um a, a king player won a, a tekken tournament just recently um i don't know his name i forgot his name but a king player just won a tekken tournament recently and like the amount of like grabs and the different grabs that were happening and then like the fucking commentators calling out the different grabs and it was just like this shit is so sick zangief has one spd uh a running bear grab and then regular grabs that do different things no one's i mean people get i think people are getting hyper zangief but i think he could be so much more hype right like when you compare him to king dude king's popping off doing like you know and he's screaming he's doing all these jaguar noises at the same time <laughs> as he's doing combos like come on dude what what do you come on <laughs> that's like so sick Ding. the fuck is that sound that was king that was jaguar noises 